Usually when I make these bead crochet necklaces, I do a continuous loop that can go over your head. I feel like it needs a cutesy clickbait title like a cozy infinity crochet jewelry trend. <laughs> Sorry, I hate that shit. But if you want it to be a bit shorter than that, today I'm going to show you how to add a metal clasp to your crocheted necklace. Or your new kick-ass granny square necklace, which I will link in the description for you because you know you need one. I did do this in another video already, but I'm gonna try to do a better job of it and give you some more details. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Making videos is freaking hard, man. So here I have a lobster claw clasp. It is six by 10 millimeters. I've got two little 20 gauge uh, jump rings that are four and five millimeters. And then I have these end crimps, uh, or sometimes they're called cord tips or cord ends. These are two by seven millimeters. They come in various sizes for different um, sizes of cord, and they can also be uh, tube shaped. And I've got some pliers. I've got two sets, a needle nose and a flat nose. So I want my necklace to be about 18 inches total, um, plus the clasp. So you wanna factor in about a half an inch for the clasp findings and everything. And now I'm tearing out the extra um, crochet part so that it's symmetrical, the same on both sides. And I wanna make sure that the necklace ends end with chain, not bead, you know. Now I'm just going to lay my cord between the prongs of my crimps. Um, I'm holding the knot at the end just under the little hole in the crimp so that it doesn't obstruct it, but I can also kind of pinch it and hold it in that spot like a little handle. Then I use my pliers to just fold those little prongs over carefully. When I get them in the right position, I just squeeze the hell out of them. Now, once it's really squeezed in there, it's not going anywhere. So you can trim it nice and close up. But just to keep it from getting too frayed, um, this is optional, but I'm gonna add a little dab of Elmer's glue. You could use a little fray check or whatever you have to kind of just seal the end up. music's nice huh I love music I put some um, playlists uh, music playlists in my playlist section so check those out I make a playlist for myself every year and then I just listen to it over and over and over again so I gotta put up my new one but uh yeah music to craft bye baby okay now our little ends are done and they're looking pretty sweet Okay, now let's get into the jump rings. I'm gonna start with the little one. Um, always open jump rings like a door, okay? So it doesn't distort the shape. You open the door and then you close the door, okay? So using two pliers is really the easiest way to go here. Now I can put my crimp on the end of it and then I'm ready to put my clasp on the end of it and then I close the door. Ta-da! Pretty good. Now all I have to do is add the other jump ring to the other end, and that's that. See? Pretty sweet, right? Now you have a whole new set of skills. Ha-ha! I don't think I mentioned, but you can buy these materials anywhere you buy beads, like Michael's, Joann's, and they are super inexpensive, especially since they have little packs of like five or 10. Um, I buy in bulk 
or I used to, <laughs> but I have a lot of them. I hoard is what I really mean to say. So I always have the stuff, but um, it's really easy to find and it's not expensive at all. And I hope you will play with this technique. By the way, I have a really fun project coming up. It is completely different than anything I've done. So stay tuned.